it's Wendy from Chicka Woof Ranch, and you might wonder why I'm sitting here on my milk stand holding my clippers. Well, um, I almost forgot to give some birthing haircuts this year. Um, we've been at this for a while, and a couple of the gals, um, we had one kid yesterday, and she did awesome, and we've got some kids yelling in the background. Mm -hmm. There they are, but um, I don't know that there are many videos out there showing a birthing haircut of a goat. Um, this is not my expertise. Um, I do happen to be a hairstylist in my other life, um, but uh, the main purpose for this haircut is to help clean them up and then be able to milk later on without all the fur getting in the way and pulling it and making for a mess during the birthing process. So anyway, here we go. We have trained most of our goats to the milk stand, um, regardless of age or sex because it comes, hand, comes in handy um, for this when we're getting ready to do the birthing haircuts, but it's also how we trim their feet. It's much easier for one person um, to be able to trim their feet because they're, they're seeing it as a reward. We, we feed them in the stanchion and then they get their feet trimmed. So they come in, you'll see them, they'll hop right up, um, and they're ready to go. They have no idea that uh, I'm waiting behind them with the clippers ready to go here. Um, so that's, that's a key factor. Number one, having a good place to do it. Milk stanchion is where we do it. Um, it's kind of warm outside. I really don't need my hoodie, but the hair is going to fly everywhere and get in everywhere, worse than any haircut you've ever had. So putting this on kind of protects me from getting super itchy and then I can peel it off right away afterwards. Um, third thing is, is the clippers I am using are an Oster brand. Um, they're actually for people than animals, but the one thing you do need is that um, these are a motorized clipper and you cannot go and buy your cheap $20 um, wall clippers um, that are just a magnetized blade. They won't work. Um, the hair won't feed through. Um, the blades are not sharp enough. It won't work. So you definitely have to have a clipper with a motorized fed blade. Um, so those are the tips and let's get started. She may be kicky, so we'll see how this goes. But uh, see how Daisy's mostly a little furry here. She's starting to bag up slightly, but she's not due for a couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's funny how she <clears throat> doesn't seem to mind this part as much. But this belly hair is pretty important because that's the stuff that you lean up against when you're milking. So. I'm not peeling her down. I'm just kind of running the clippers over it like a comb to really it's knock so it down. Good. Here's all this and we're just kind of knocking it down. And I'm going with the grain of the hair so I'm not trying to peel her off. I'm going to take a look at the rear, but she's pretty much done. Okay, so this is Daisy's finished result. It's not perfect by any means. Like I said, this is something that we do that really helps out with the birthing process and then in the milking process. Um, because birthing and then even expelling um, everything that comes with the kids later on, then it really can kind of stick to their back hind in and their udder and it, it hurts. I mean, pulling that stuff off is almost like ripping wax off. So we've decided to do the birthing haircut and the kids are gonna scream the whole time I'm talking because that's what they do. Um, but uh, it really helps so that when, if you're milking, particularly milking by hand and you're not damn raising the kids, that that way when I'm grabbing a hold, I'm not pulling her fur and I'll also knocked a lot of this belly fur off down here, all that stuff that can fall down into your milking bucket. Um, and really as far as what season they're kidding in, well, you know, um, it doesn't really matter. We're not trying to peel them off so short. If, if it was a lot colder weather, it's not here right now. We've almost got an 80 degree day in March. Um, we might not get as crazy with around the back legs, but definitely clean up the udder. So that way what you're working with um, isn't collecting as much dirt and you're not having to clean it as hard before the milking process. So. Anyway, um, it's not the prettiest job. They don't hold still very well, but in the end, it's well worth it for you and them when you're trying to clean them up later. So thanks for watching, and we'll see. She's a seasoned goat, and we'll give you a shot of what a newbie looks like. So that could be interesting. Thanks. Hi, Cookie. to do. So we'll see how this goes. Kind of trim up under the tail. Because that can really get kind of yuck. So I don't like to peel their tail down. Just kind of trim the excess off. And if your blade gets hot, make sure you're touching your blade and either use some spray to cool it down or take a break. That seems 
to help kind of tap her a little bit, let her know where I'm at. Kind of distract her a little bit. Same thing, trying to get down all that belly fur. She's looking pretty good. Kind of cleaned up the area. There. Let's go back this way a little bit. I'm not touching her skin. I'm just basically kind of combing over it. Knocking it down. Kind of getting up by the legs, up under there, where her udder will fill out. Checking my temperature on my clippers, because I'm really trying to clean it out right between her two teeth right there. This is something you want to do once. And then not have to do it for several, several months again. And I really don't want to be messing around with her when I'm trying to teach her to be a first-time milker. Okay, so here's Cookie with her birthing haircut. She really didn't do too bad for a first-timer. She is used to being up on the milking stand and getting something to eat. So she already associates this with a good thing. Um, so that's something to consider when you're getting ready for your first time milker. So um, anyway, we've got her nice and cleaned out, get a lot of the fur off. So um, this will also help us to see um, as her bag starts to develop more. She's due in just about four or five more days. So first time freshener, so she's not as big. But uh, like I said, we cleaned it out here on the back of the legs, on the udder, and then I just kind of take up the tail. We don't, we're, we're sensitive about that. We <laughs> show that. So, um, yeah, so hope this helps you, and uh, if you've never seen it done, well, there you go. We're not experts, but, you know, we like to share what we can. Thanks for watching. <laughs> the boy's yelling. Uh huh. I'm gonna talk. Maybe you should whisper. Okay. So we're gonna give the goat some birthing haircuts. No, you have to talk louder. You have to talk louder than the goat. <laughs> so I'm, we're preparing to give the goats some birthing haircuts. A um, couple of tips before you do so. Put the goat out in the outside. Put the goat kid outside before you make the video so that they're not screaming while you're trying to talk. This is how they act when we're not filming and I'm not talking. They go to sleep.